more than all of us. That's what keeps people coming back from me. People are turning into zombies. A roof separates you from the sunshine in the morning. A bed separates you from the loving earth at night. That's what's so great about learning these things. When you're no longer oppressed by the cultural pressures of making money or showering or wiping yourself after using a toilet, you can focus on the important things. Do you travel in? Well, I've been up north to the theme park, and last week I went to the beach. No, really travel. My cousin has been meeting every Thursday Saturday to prepare for a grand choral journey along the same route we took when our people came from Russia and Alaska along the Bellamy Strait. What? A choral? Oh, is that like a Maibatsu? Mm-mm. I prefer American cars. No. <laughs> choral. Chora means Arabian gazelle. Which we all know was the daughter of Zeus. And call means gather grass and sew it together. A coracle is a single person rowing boat made of reeds and twigs from ancient Britain. There are so many wonderful things you can learn from the ancient Britons, Amy. Like metallurgy and how to cauterize the wound when a bear has eaten your arm. Everyone used to have a coracle, Amy. Even people who were scared of water. We're all about working to preserve the diversity of natural life. We use everything. Question, who's this we? My coven. Like witches? No, yeah, yeah, uh, yes. But not witches like you think. We're just a group of people who believe in communal sharing and chanting a lot and can't find husbands. Reading magazines, cloaks, wands, horned gods, rubbing your skin raw with rocks, dying of old age at 27, crying in terror when it starts to thunder, and these are all the things our ancestors did. Since I found my new mind and body, things have really changed for me. Our modern society only celebrates a select few. Every woman and every man is a star in the sky, Amy. Not just the ones that sing on TV or those people in the movies. I think I know what you need to separate your reflection from your true self. A Zen garden. Oh, my brother had one of those and the federales came. Oh, no, 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 no. Zen, silly girl. <laughs> it's a little sandbox you draw pictures in. It teaches you things like that death isn't an end. It's just a stage and also a beginning of a new journey. Do you have a leader in this weirdo cult of yours? Not a cult, to cover. There's a big difference. Yes, our leader's name is Phil. That's a weird name for a leader of a group of witches. Oh, hi, Phil. What hairy lunch you got? What with being a man who's a witch and everything? <laughs> Do not disrespect Phil. He teaches us the wheel of the year, Amy. It's full of solar holidays and goes round and round and round. You can learn a lot from the sun and moon. The sun for too long you can be blind, meaning it is something to be respected. And the moon has a dark side, just like we do. And some people have craters and only a sixth of gravity. The ancient Britons knew the moon could breathe. We can change the world, rearrange the world. It's dying though, Amy, and it needs some mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, like a swan or a fish on a hook. If you take your nervous system seriously, if you take your organs seriously and explore them, some really neat things can happen. Phil told us that. He's been to Mali to meet with the village elders. That's why there's the ceremony of the knife. Oh, great. Why does everyone have to be packing sharp things? The knife ceremony is very important and spiritual. It's an ancient one-person personal crisis. You say to yourself, I'm going to have a spiritual experience or thrust this thing into my head. Life actors never rehearse and need no script, Amy. That was said by somebody really spaced out. And I'm going to say it again, like the wind which keeps blowing, or the sun which shines with light. Will you please leave? You smell, and you talk really weird, and you're just really gross. Not until I tell people out there, become an internationalist. Learn oral traditions. Learn to respect life. Make war on machines. Marry your mother. Technology will enslave us. Buy my book. It's printed on bars. Okay, okay. Let's take a quick call. Hello, you're on K-Chat. What's your name? Hey, it's Manuel from Stone Island. I love the show. Yeah, I want to talk about technology and sleeping us. You know that play, In the Future There Will Be Robots? 
Well, that's a true story. In the future, there will be robots. And I'm gonna hack them all. I'll make them say funny things. You know, I can move satellite around with my computer. Computers are evil. The Luddites of ancient Britain know this. That's why they destroyed the computers. They created things faster and more efficient and took their jobs. Oh, shut up. Computers aren't evil. It's the people that program the computers that are evil. That's a pretty big difference. I'm talking to you, sir. Try again, man. the dust in the whip.